Hey guys, Andrew Michael here. We will be streaming live tonight. We have a uh, potential for some severe weather. Bill Kelly's in. Bill? Hello. How are you? Good to see you. We have all the Facebook posts as we speak. We have crews in. They are setting up all the gear. This is Johnny Cash. I don't know why he's not wearing black and white. Classic Johnny Cash laugh right there. Classic Johnny Cash laugh. All right. If you'd like the link to it, Bill, I just tweeted it and Facebooked it. How many viewers are on there right now? Oh, we just, we just started. We, we just started. Buffalo Soldier, Redlock Rasta. That's all I'm saying. Just describing myself, keeping it real. That's it. I know that Buffalo Soldier is a This one, what's this one? I need to sign mine. Do you bring the pen? It's truly inspiring. I'll let you know immediately. I don't want that happening. Hey, uh, Buck, what's that brain machine you have? What's a nice, uh, what's a nice retro looking? Uh, like... Picture I posted today? Yeah. It's a Pook Maxi, just like the rest of them. How, how, how is that? Is it Pook Maxi? Pook Maxi. It's a, it is a, uh, that I believe is an 82. Ooh. Yeah, that new. That new in 82. Yes, we are. It is Pook. Pook. Pook Maxi. All right, I need to do a better screen capture. Yeah, that tunnel there you said, Bob? Yeah, it's so hard to say. Back there behind the set? Oh, okay. I got some Lysol spray. Hello, yo. Hello, Andrew Michael. Oh, no. What are you doing? You know, my use. We're owning it. Silver shine. Should I try it in black and see if it looks better? Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black would be better for yours. Let me see. Well, I don't know. Mine's. I, I'll do them both. The same one I have. I'll do both. You tell me. Yeah, that's know. awesome. I should have signed. Hey, Bill. Did you tell them upstairs I'm doing social? Oh yeah. Bill. Bill. It's not in the tent at all. Your IP, man. Do I know what's left on it? Your IP, dog. Do they know? 
Oh man, it doesn't work without it? Oh man. It is not in the 10, it is not in the 11. Yo, no, we're doing it in weather. We're doing, are you looking at our rundown? Yeah. We're doing it all in weather. Oh, so you just come back over here? Or I'll toss yeah, to you right. or something like that. Just let me know which hit yeah, you want to do it. Oh man. Should I care, come here, Chip? Come here, Chip. I need your opinion. Should I use this for my live chat on the Fox page? Is that too wintry? Oh, you can see it right there. Is that too wintry for me to post on the. What's the, what's the alternative? Dude? Yeah, what else you got? All right, just a picture of my face. That might do be this. Bill, one or two. Yeah, right here. You could, like, done. cook something up uh, real we'll quick go over a casual shot of you, you know, just. Then, you know, just drop some text then, uh, on there. Hey, how about you guys just take my picture right now? Heck yeah, dude. And I will uh, pull up the... I'm going to snap a good... Hey, do we want to um, take a... Four minutes. No, you don't have to. Just say I have a live chat started on the Fox page. I was going to take your picture. Well, get the whole center up here. What? You have to get the whole center, man. Just one, two, three, four, five. Three, two. Okay, so... Okay. And the safety. Cool, thanks, sir. Let me know how you turn out. And then how do you want me? Uh, so you want me to go to first letter, and then do you want me to talk to the first letter? I was gonna give you a candid one, dude. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Megan, why don't like, why don't like you want to just take a weather front shot? And it'll be just the two of us there up front. Then I'll take the maps full. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh, I'm going to jack it off. Oh, yeah. I have a uh, no I have B or anything. behind the belt man so you're live on our fox live chat on the fox page momentarily they really want a microphone on me first <laughs> all right, so if i'm standing That's adorable. Up here where do you want me to stand here john that's chip here chip what do you like dog uh not in front of the chief is he like does that look all right can you see us both just kind of hanging out Man, so demanding. You want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have B is not yet though. She knows. She knows. She knows. You need anyone else's What? What are you writing in your wall of Follow inspiration? Yo. Um, Follow my check. Excuse me. Fuck. One, two, three, four, five. Mic check. One, two, three, four, five. Mic check. One, two, three, four, five. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic is on. Mic is on. Yeah, the silver pen, you need 45. It. Here you go. Oh, sorry. I used to live with himself. Okay. Bob, you're right. 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 You're right.
Are we right off the top here with this? All the way over here? Yeah, so we can see the monitor. 20. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of, you know, tease you in here doing social. Okay. In other words, we're owning it. I would imagine our tune in numbers here are probably going to be pretty high. Right here off the top, this first okay. block. Uh, first so you are on the Fox 28 Three. Facebook page. Two. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. We are watching a storm that's still well off to the west. Andrew, you're working on the Fox 28 page here. Yep. We have a live chat going. Just started that. So that we'll have a live chat there all throughout the show. So you can go on there, ask your questions. Also on Twitter, if you use our uh, Ohio WX hashtag, O-H-I-O-W-X, we can answer all of your questions on there as yeah, well. Yeah, because a lot of you are wondering, okay, what's going to happen? What's the timing? And we're going to get to all that information for you. First, let's start out with what's going on here with the storm. And you can see that we have some showers that are moving into the area. None of this is in the severe level right now. The line is still off to our west, and we'll show you that timing in just a moment. Everywhere that you see the green is a flood watch that's in effect, but the place that you see the pink, and we're talking about Union County, Hardin County, uh, up into Crawford County, that is where we have a severe weather watch that is in effect at the moment. We're already getting some of the rain around the Columbus area, and the winds have picked up significantly. The camera's bouncing around quite a bit out there, and our temperatures, man, we are at 62 degrees right now. It's that warm, moist air that is surging in from the south, but those winds will continue to increase as we head into the next couple of hours in terms of the wind gusts. We're already looking at wind gusts that are near 40 miles per hour or so. The sustained winds are between 15 and 25 miles per hour. Look at the gusts. Grove City, you are at 39. You're near it. Your latest gust is at 31. We have 37 in Dublin, at least mile per hour wind, 29 in Delaware. So you're hearing the branches. You're hearing your wind chimes bouncing around. They're going to get stronger as we head on into the evening. Ultimately, we'll drop back down into the upper 30s once the front crosses. That's going to be around midnight here, our time. So we're going to be focusing in on that coming up in just a, a few minutes. Right now, we'll send it on back over to you guys. All right, thanks, Carl. And Andrew, we're the same storm system hitting us already hit Missouri, and it's leaving its mark there. More than 1,200 people in Springfield losing power. The Fairwell Emergency Management Director says service will be restored about nine minutes later. I tried to get you. Well, I didn't know if you were Oh, no, I was, I was posting it. Social Media Center. Happening right now. I went to Mitch's office the other day, and I said, with all these melting stories, we should build a first warning Noah's Ark. <laughs> Considering we've done the same story like 20 times. I am tweeting using hashtag OhioWX. I'll answer all their questions. Hey, Eric, I will try to do that for you. Uh, coming up when Bill does the weather cast and goes to the green screen, I will try to do that. Raise up their belongings. 
Uh, the American Red Cross tells us it's preparing for the worst in Marion County and is encouraging people to do the same, move themselves and valuables to high ground. You can track the weather where you live with our Ohio Weather app, available for Apple and Android smartphones and tablets there. Just go to your app store and search for Ohio Space WX. New at 10 on Fox 28 News, the parents of a Columbus first grader are furious after a mysterious phone call to their son's school today. Fox 28 reporter Ben Garbrick is live in North Columbus to explain why the school says it's apologizing. Ben? side of the house. We're told the upstairs is destroyed. No one was home at the time. New tonight, Columbus police are searching for whoever hit another car that took off running from the scene. This happened around 8 o'clock at Cleveland and Briarwood Avenues in North Linden. No word on a description of the suspects, but police tell us several people were in the car. We're told no one was hurt. If you know anything about this, we're asked to call Columbus police. Continuing coverage. No criminal charges will be filed against an upper arm police officer involved in a crash that killed six people. We've been following this since last October. The investigator's report was released today. Fox 28's Maria Durant now with a dash cam, taking us through the moments before the impact. Okay. Investigator report issued step by step from the middle of the morning. Did you see some action over there? What? Did you see some action? A little slow. Only five. Yeah, we didn't mention it on air. Where's the link? I just. Sorry, what'd you say? Where's the link? Producer, did you say something? Yes. Uh, I just Facebooked it. You want to grab the link off of my Facebook? Yes. Here's the thing. You probably thought they were just going to keep going. And, you know, you thought that the next day she got into bed. He made a plan with a break before he made his turn to do it. At the point of impact, he was going to have some safety. The crash killed a family of six. Ibrahim Shahad, his wife, and a four of us. Major people will not be put in charge. What's that? Officer Painter is 
is back on the job. He suffered a head injury in the crash. Upper Arlington Police now planning to review the report to see if policy changes need to be made. We're seeing new video of a hit and run accident that killed a Marine. Police in Bell Fountain giving us this surveillance video, and it appears the video has been sped up. Monica Plate was hit while walking down South James Street Sunday night after an argument with her husband. She left first, and then her husband tries to catch up with her. After they walk out of this frame of video, three cars drive past. Police think someone in those cars knows something. They want those drivers to come forward. Here tonight, the company that makes the drugs Ohio used in its most recent execution wants states to stop using them for lethal injections. A sedative and a painkiller were used to execute Dennis McGuire last month. It took 26 minutes for McGuire to die, and witnesses say he gasped for air until the drugs came in. The Illinois company that makes the drugs doesn't like using it for capital punishment. They say the drugs are meant to enhance and save the lives of patients. A big state-owned building is sitting empty, and it's costing you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Seven-story place on Front Street downtown was once the home of the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services. But since 2006, the department has spent millions to rent and lease other office space downtown. Investigator Coach Jerome set up to get answered. It's working for me fine. It's working over here. They may need to, hey, Darkman, if you're still watching this, take your link quality at the bottom and take it down lower. You may have it set to the highest quality, and your internet provider might not be able to stream that fast. So try taking the link or the uh, quality down a little bit. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Apparently there have been power flash, green flashes in the sky in Westerville. And people are reporting fl power flickers. Yes. Where they've had, yeah. Man, all of Westerville's in this chat right now. They are. Ohio right now. I look from downtown. You see rain coming down. The wind's really picking up too. Bill says that we're going to see some gusts. So you don't know about 
morning that I no issues just now. Of course, we're ready to respond quickly to any problems with the weather. Uh, Bill will be back to the island for full forecast in just a couple of minutes. We're following a developing story in Ukraine tonight. Dozens now dead, hundreds injured, as the vicious street battles continue in the capital city of Kiev. Last night, we received word of truce, but it seems that nobody took it seriously. Fox News correspondent Amy Kellogg now watching developments from Moscow. Is there a lot of lightning with that line? Not really. Not a lot. No. A little bit. 44 strikes down from 165 earlier. So I'm going to park this here, man. I don't, don't want to block the live stream. Oh, that's you know, I don't like the stuff, so I got to The live streamers like that. Live streamers, that's Johnny Cash right there. Yes. Hey. <laughs> The fights for the department today were if they have ways to stop the violence, gone to the two. Did we put your jacket back on? Powerful, huh? safe to drink. New information shows when people started drinking and bathing again after the ban was lifted, visits to emergency rooms and doctor's offices shot up. People were being treated for rashes, headaches, even vomiting. This week, the governor of West Virginia asked the CDC to do more testing. Pleasantville. Where's Pleasantville? has never said the water is safe, just that based on animal studies, the levels of the chemical in the water are not high enough to cause adverse health effects. New tonight for the first time since a deadly tornado destroyed Moore, Oklahoma, the city is issuing an ultimatum for victims. They're asking people to clear their lots or face fines. People got notices saying to clean their lots of any debris by tomorrow. Property owners who do nothing by the deadline can be subject to a $350 service fee along with a $100 fine. The city says it is willing to work with property owners. I wish your town turns to dynamite to help fight flooding. The village of Sibawing authorizing a controlled explosion in an attempt to break up river ice. They're hoping it will stop flooding and property damage down the road. Their village leaders spent about three hours blasting the day. They say they want to be proactive rather than wait for major flooding problems when all this comes. My husband was so worried that we were going to get flooded and set it up over. It's a mixture inside the house of little boys. Police who live nearby, as you saw, say they're thankful for the quick action. All right, Chief Meteorologist yeah. Kelly joining us. You got some uh, storms. Got some storms coming, coming, in. coming in. Yeah, a couple of house cleaning items. First of all, we are streaming this uh, behind the scenes yep. live. Uh, right now, you can stop on my Facebook page or Andrew's Facebook page. Get that link there. You can also post questions as well. Uh, and then, oh, what are we doing here? Oh, they're giving me the cues to do something or other. There you go. Uh, and then also Andrew Michael is in and he's in the social media center and so if you hop onto our Fox 28 Facebook page, he's also posting a live chat there. So if you have any individual questions about the storm coming in, I mean I'll, I'll do a bunch here, but any individual you can also connect with that way as well. So all kinds of ways we're reaching out to you through the storm, which I don't see as a massive storm, but I certainly see as a powerful storm. So let's start, let's start you out right with the radar and show you what's going on. We are picking up widespread rain around the area right now. And some of these darker shades of yellow is where the showers are heavier. Some of the rainfall is over to downtown, south of Columbus, over near Diana.
south of Grove City as well. And as I widen this out, you'll see these areas of yellow and even oranges south of, uh, say, Circleville, right along Highway 23 toward Chillicothe or just to the west of 23. And this one here has some very heavy rainfall with it and even some thunder and lightning. And this is making its way over toward you guys down around Chillicothe here coming up here rather soon. We'll put the timing on it for you draw it out. You have to about 10.30 here when we we'll start hearing some very, very heavy rainfall on your roofs. Here is the main storm system that I'm watching. Once this crosses, everything is done behind it. And it's a skinny line. It's not a big, it's not a huge storm, but it certainly is packing a punch. Now, in terms of the timing, when you use our distance tool, we're going to take a leading edge, draw it on out to Columbus. We're probably looking at this crossing the Columbus area around 1230. And right along it, I see the potential for very strong winds, 50, 60 miles per hour, a very heavy rainfall as well. That's why we have that flood watch that's in effect. In fact, if we look at some of our current watches and warnings, I don't have the floods up here. I wanted to keep the severe weather part uh, just by itself. Severe thunderstorm watches in effect, not for Columbus at this time, but it does include Union County, up in Marion County, Crawford County, and Harvard County in our Union area. This yellow is a tornado watch. They have not extended that to our area. I do expect the storm to calm a little bit by the time they get here because of all the rain that we are already seeing out there. It's kind of stabilizing the atmosphere a little bit. But it's 63, 63, how about that? 22 mile per hour wind, and we have wind gusts right now that are even stronger than that. So there is some heat energy to work with out there for sure. 60 in Dublin, 59 in Grove City, it's 58 in Newark. But I'm sure many of you are really hearing the wind already and the branches swinging around. We have a 33 mile per hour gust in Columbus, 31 in Grove City, 25 in Grove Court. The winds are going to get stronger. In fact, the wind advisory is up all the way until 6 o'clock tomorrow night for sustained winds. So let's advance you to 11 o'clock, and we're seeing widespread rain here at 11. This back edge is what I'm looking at for that line that we're pushing across the area. This model wants to break things up. I don't think it'll be quite this broken, but I do anticipate as it gets closer, it does weaken in intensity, and then it pushes across about 12, 30, 1 o'clock, lingering showers beyond that. The threat for you, wherever you live, is probably going to be about a 5 or 10 minute window. You know, quicker to the west, then to the east. Going to take time to get over. But once that window crosses your area, you're absolutely fine. It's just going to be along that sliver that I just showed you. And so tomorrow we start out with some clouds. Clouds clear out during the afternoon. A straight sprinkle or two down to the south, not a big deal. Plenty of sunshine, but tomorrow will be a windy day. That's going to be our big problem out there tomorrow. So 37, once this crosses, rain, thunderstorms likely, and strong winds are going to be likely throughout the evening. We're at 43 by noon, 45 by the end of the day. Sunshine, yes, have your sunglasses with you. Hitting the road in a big RV, something like that, you need to keep both hands on the wheel because those winds could be 50, 40, maybe even 50 miles per hour gusts throughout the day. And then Saturday, we warm it up a little bit more so that snow will pretty much be all but gone, other than those piles in the parking lot, Bob. Sure. Yeah, this is next week. Could be a real snow year this one. Thanks, yeah. Bill. All right, counting down to spring, we continue on here. 28 days, 28 short days now until. Everything changes for the better. <laughs> there we go. All right, West Virginia Pizza Hut is getting a bad rap. All the other night, the shocking video that got the restaurant's manager oh, fired. I just spit mine out. A tradition that's hard for an animal rights group to swallow. So we'll still become a strong message PETA has for an Ohio high school. Okay. I had a point of view. I need to answer their questions. Okay, it is, but it has to be attached to the computer real quick. It has to be attached to the computer. Hey guys, Andrew Michael here. I wanted to answer a couple questions you guys were posting in here, so uh, we'll answer those for you. Terry saying, I live in Crooksville, located in Perry County. What can we expect in the time frame uh, for Perry County? We're looking at a time frame for you closer to about midnight to 1 a.m., but we will be here in the Weather Center keeping you posted. Uh, and we're expecting just very high winds with this. There's a slight, slight chance for a tornado, but really the, the high winds are going to be the main story with this storm. Uh, we have Matt Bruning saying a lot of lightning and uh, thunder down there in Ross County, so thanks for that. It's raining in Newark from uh, Shanna. Thanks for that report. Do, 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 do. Pedro said, hey, Andrew, tell Bill it's raining here in Galloway, Ohio, so thanks for those reports. Again, if you guys have any questions, you guys can post those here in the uh, social stream chat, and I'll be answering those during the commercials. 
Spork883 saying, uh, holy pouring in Waverly. So, yeah, and that's just the, uh, that's not even the main line yet. That'll be coming through a little bit later. So, again, thanks to all the reports on here. Put you back, guys, up on top of the TV. We'll continue the stream, but uh, you guys can post this. Post this on your Facebook page and Twitter. Let everyone know that we are streaming this live behind the scenes. We're going to continue this all night long. Uh, but just want to answer some of you guys' questions. I'll do it again next commercial break. All right. All right. It's a wall of inspiration this week. Is it? Yeah. 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 Right on. I don't have the. The which one? I don't have yours pulled up. Share. Let's. I don't have the. I don't have the stream pulled up, so it doesn't. Because this is a. This laptop is so slow. Oh, okay. So I try to leave as little running on here as possible. Have a photo of it myself. guys double questions on here uh, we can, can we expect anything severe for Coshocton the winds are going to be the main threat with these storms uh, Coshocton definitely could see some strong winds Marion timing we are looking for Marion right about midnight maybe a little bit beforehand um, Jared saying it's raining outside fairly windy here in Johnstown from Laura uh, but again if you guys have any questions post those on here and feel free to share this we're trying to get a decent amount of people jumping on here so again thanks for everyone jumping on and uh, Put you guys back up on top of the TV, and we'll continue the live chat on the Fox 28 Facebook page. Sunshine. Happy birthday, 
Storms. Yeah, storm. By the time you get home, storms yeah. be crossing hey, right over. Never rain in German Village. No. <laughs> Never rains in German Village. No, it doesn't. It's just better living down there. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. You get fireworks 365 days a year down there. No twenty. No snow this winter. <laughs> I spent downtown down there. There it is. You have to be in the chip shot. Yeah, you know, by the time it's sudden down, we're probably looking at anywhere between a half an inch to an inch of rain. I mean, it's some flooding rain. We got the snow that's already melting out yep. there. That's why the two of us are in here. We have the possibility of some stronger storms, but we just want to, you know, focus on you. And you're doing a live weather chat here. And we're doing a live chat on our Fox 28 Facebook page. So that's going on right now. A lot of people asking or, or telling us what they're seeing. A lot of reports of a lot of rain, heavy rain down to the South Waverly. Someone just said that. And also, I want to tell you too, we are doing a uh, behind the scenes live stream chat. Oh, there so it you is. can see Bill right there. Uh, we're doing a live stream chat on Ustream, so you guys can check that out. I'll post the link in there here momentarily as well. And another thing, if you're using Twitter, use hashtag OhioWX, O-H-I-O-W-X. Any questions, weather questions, I will answer those. And we love hearing what you are experiencing outside as well. So let's get to the maps and show you what's happening out here. We have some rain that is moving into the area currently. We're going to be watching this as we go through the next few hours, but the most active time period is going to be probably around the midnight time frame. It's still off to the west here, but what's happening is all this rain that's pushing in is helping to stabilize our atmosphere a little bit. So we are seeing some rain out there. It's still wet roads, there's nothing road. It's still 63 degrees outside with winds between 20 and 30 miles per hour. Been watching these tower cameras, see wet roads at 670 and 4th Street. Here's another one at 315 in King. You actually see the rain coming down. So it is rain, certainly not ice. We're way, way above that. Uh, but we have winds that will continue to get stronger throughout the evening. So your forecast for tonight looks like this. 37 degrees, rainy storms are likely, strong winds are going to be likely. We have a possibility of some severe level winds as they approach the area. Coming up in just a few minutes, I'll break down that time for you. Hour by hour, we go through the remainder of the night again. We are live on Facebook, and we are doing the Ustream chat as well. We'll see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Bill. And you can track the weather where you live with our Ohio Weather app. It's available for both Apple and Android smartphones and tablets. Just go to your app store and search for Ohio WX. We've learned that a fisherman is out of the hospital tonight, a day after a police chopper pulled him from the icy Scioto River. It happened near Greenlawn Avenue and Front Street late yesterday afternoon. Michael Shell's neighbors tell us he goes almost every day. Fox 28 obtained the 911 call from a passerby who saw him in the water. The Columbus police helicopter was just seconds away on a training flight. Shell grabbed onto the chopper's skid and was pulled closer to shore. Rescue crews then brought him to safety. An Ohio bill could be a bargain for parents. Legislators are considering a sales tax holiday to coincide with back to school shopping. The bill will the second hearing of the Senate this week. If it passes, school supplies under $20, clothes under $100, and some electronics under $750 would be tax free. The sale will last for three days in August. Yeah, I take my Again, if it passes, Ohio would be the 19th state to have a sales tax holiday. Great so to say that the state would lose about $78 million in tax revenue. Terrorists may once again be using basic footwear to cause chaos in the skies. Fighting back to Steve Levine here now to tell us why there's this sudden push to check again for shoe loans. Airline security screeners will be taking an extra close look at your shoes if you're flying in the United States. The Department of Homeland Security has issued a new alert warning airlines about possible attempts by terrorists to blow up planes with shoe bombs. Heading to America, new warning requests screeners to increase their use of detention slots, passenger shoes, and people like that. That's my favorite. New credit intel suggests that terrorist lawmakers have stepped up their attempts to get high liquid explosives. It certainly tells you that. Air passengers in the U.S. 
U.S. have been asked to take off their shoes at airport checkpoints since 2001 after Richard Reed tried with night in explosives in his shoes. He is now serving a life sentence. The threat not believed to be related to the Sochi Olympics. This current warning does not put domestic flights and flights headed overseas. Noah, less than one. Is it because you're wearing a hoodie today, Chip? And not wearing your suit coats? <laughs> I can't hear you. What's that? As far as they know, you're Johnny Cash. practicing a safety drill today, but boy, you got a surprise in Newark video you don't want to miss. Pouring in Canal Winchester, rain and thunder in Lancaster and lightning. Should I expect a tornado to come and destroy my house? Yeah, I just use different cell paths. I'll put it on like tornado path. Well, I did that, but then it puts that on. How do I so, dude. Is it? I mean, normally we don't. That's not. There's right. not no, anything going on. That's what I do. Dropped six degrees in ten minutes in Mount Sterling already.
25,000 Idol hopefuls down to the top 20, and now just 13 tonight. We saw who's going to be a part of American Idol's 13th season. Now, earlier in the night, 10 were saved, and the rest had the same to stay. And in the end, the judges picked three as wild cards. The rest of the contestants were sent home. So I was happy CJ made it through. Yeah, I, I don't get to, the, the one I can't remember her name right now, I have to look it up, but she didn't make it through. I'm surprised. I'm very disappointed. So, I don't know, maybe if I had voted last night, she would have picked it. I guess. Oh, I'll try to keep that a secret. Yeah, yes. we'll keep that a secret, but maybe maybe will have to come back. You never know. I don't have so many twists and turns. Right, right. Oh, well, nine months after winning season 12 of American Idol, Candace Glover is moving on to the next phase of her music career. Her debut album, Music Speaks, is out this week. The 24-year-old singer auditioned for Idol three times before she made the cut. I felt like there was more out there as far as like career wise and music and everything. I knew there was something. And I felt like that's not what we had to do. Glover says the album was inspired by the outpouring of support from her fans. And looking ahead to next week, the top 13 will perform on Wednesday from 8 to 10. Then the results show will be from 8 to 9 on Thursday. You can watch American Idol right here on Fox 28. Coming up, a Pizza Hut manager caught doing the unthinkable in his store. Coming up next, the shocking video that got him fired. Also, Peter upset at an Ohio high school. Straight ahead, why a sports tradition there is raising some eyebrows and making his stomachs churn. Let me guess, he ate his own pizza. <coughs> you can't do it, Bill. <coughs> Even if it's your story, you can't eat your own pizza. He some special sauce. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, is he, is he, is he like Kendrick Torgan? Yolanda, Andy, Angie was asking, are you texting? Angie asked, are you texting? Um, guilty. Oh, shoot! Yeah. Guilty as charged. You got busted on the behind the scenes. I was texting. But I think I was texting You shouldn't something. text an anchor. Something appropriate, you see. We have a campaign against that. Oh, I was texting a picture. Bumper stickers and all. Uh-huh. Don't text an anchor. I'm about to text an anchor. Facebook post. You're both guilty. Well, you're The same Angie that caught Yolanda texting just said that they have lightning and thunder in Crooksville. The Crooksville people caught Yolanda texting. You do. Normally, you just gotta stay up all night long. I saw it in its uh, construction stage. Yeah. Is it? You, may, you should check it out. Thanks. Our gift to you, Andrew. Very Thanks. inspirational. I'd be afraid it might be vandalized. I hope it is not. I think it's a high. I hope 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 it's a high. 
We'll get a ladder. We'll get a ladder. Thanks, Noah. Angie in Crooksville said they don't miss a thing, Bob. Hey, Bill. Oh, you're yeah, hanging in there uh, for a little while, and I was like anchoring with James Earl Jones. I know. <laughs> you are her father. <laughs> your voice is flying back in a female register. Now. What's, What's it that one? You got it off again. Yeah. There it is. There it is. I'll tell you what. Uh, again, Andrew's hosting the live weather chat on our Facebook. 
face, you're doing it on the Facebook page, right? On the Fox 20 Facebook page. Just want to tell you too, they had a tornado warning just issued for the northern part of Dayton. Of Dayton. Okay. They just issued, issued that. that northern part of Dayton. We'll take a look at that on the radar here uh, coming up in just a second. Let me show you what's going on out there right now uh, as we look at. Uh, hold on one sec. See, I'm over there working diligently. Now we're ready to go. Yeah, my maps all over the place. And I, I don't set them right. Okay, so here's what's happening in our area. We have some rainfall. We have some heavier rain in spots, but right now around Franklin County, it's fairly light rain. I widened it out a bit. All these areas of yellow are the heavier rain. Mount Vernon, right down to Newark, Granville, Heath. You go a little bit farther off to the south there near Lancaster. It's very heavy rain for you folks. Uh, not much in the way of thunder and lightning right now. We had some earlier south of Asheville, and that cut across here, parts of Pickaway County. And we had some also down to the south in Ross County. But as we widen this out a little bit, this is the line that we're watching. And that's where that tornado warning is, uh, as you just mentioned, is. We're going to talk about that in just a second. In terms of the timing of this severe weather line, potential severe weather line, reaching its way to us, we are probably looking at uh, pro the next, say, two hours or so. So we're looking maybe a little bit less than that, about 12.30, somewhere in there. But as we look here a little bit closer to it, there is an area right here where it's bowing out. So there's going to be some very strong winds within this. And it's interesting to know when we're looking at how long this is going to last, it's not very long. I mean, look at this thing, about 10 minutes. <coughs> about a 10-minute window when this crosses that we are going to see that potential for some very strong storms. With this, so that's what we're watching. We're going to be here, of course. If there's any severe weather warnings issue, we're going to let you know. But that tornado warning that Andrew was just talking about there is for Montgomery and Miami County. That is until 11:15 tonight. And when you get these strong winds, it's not uncommon for what are called spin-ups, for these you know, real quick tornadoes to develop. They're not classic supercells, you know, EF3, EF4s, or anything, but certainly some rotating winds out here along Interstate 70, just to the west there of Dayton. We will continue to keep our eyes on that. This area of pink that you see is the official severe thunderstorm watch. It is yet to be included in the Columbus area. As I mentioned, that's something that we're going to be bringing you as that information uh, is delivered. So winds, you probably heard them outside or hear them outside. They're out in the south up to about 25 miles per hour. Current gusts to 40, so it's a very windy night. It's a very warm night. Temperatures are in the mid-60s in most locations. And so by 11 o'clock, that back edge is going to be out over here in this region. It will continue to move its way across the area, crossing probably between about 12 and 1 o'clock in Franklin County specifically. I'll check there's that new one that just popped in. I bet you anything that is the, uh, it, they probably issued the watch, I would assume. Uh, the sound that's there. Oh, let me see what that is when he's doing that. And then once this moves through, then that's it. Our threat is over. We're going to see clouds on the decrease tomorrow. We'll see a little bit in the morning. Lots of sunshine, but it is going to be a windy day with just a chance of a few passing showers here and there. Uh, in terms of what's going on tonight, then we're going to say 37 degrees. The showers and the thunderstorms are likely. Strong winds are going to be likely. 43 by noon, 45 by the end of the day. We're going to be dry on Saturday, slight chance. And then Sunday, we have a great snow mix. Is that anything I need to know about? No. It wasn't just no. an update. Just on an update the on the watches. Okay, fair enough. And then next week, we get into the 20s, and it's going to be a very cold stretch. I'm talking a lot of them starting on Monday. Probably a week long weather stretch that we're going to be below freezing. So I hope you get out and enjoy these days that are relatively warm. Yeah, they could clean up standing water, too. Just yeah, absolutely. Refreezing them, too. Right. And any extra ice you might have. Yeah, that's just it. That's what I'm thinking. Thanks, Bill. Uh, tornado drill turning into quite a surprise. Coming up next, the person this New York student was shocked to see mid drill. A video you don't want to miss. Yep. No one wants to know when you guys are doing another one of your. Uh, <laughs> What are you guys doing during commercial breaks for uh, you? Like yeah. as, as soon as you get time to, to stir up some creativity. God's drummer boy asked, what is the chance of a, having a tornado in Franklin County? Very slim. I think it's a very slim chance. It, there is a chance, but it's probably down to the 3% range, 5% range. I think 3% range or 5% range. It's there. If we do get one, I think it would be the quick spin-ups that I just referred to on Fox 28 News. Um, not a classic F3, F4, moving through or anything like that. But, uh, suppose rotation, rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one that's uh, well, I'm very sure you want to get. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some of 
Hey Dylan, if you're watching this live stream, why are you tweeting me links to the competitor's website? Who's doing that? Dylan Moody. He's always on my live streams. Oh, he, he said you're tweeting? Ah. No, he's, he tweeted me 10TV's link. Oh, no. I don't know why. That's why I was asking Dylan, why? I don't know why. Is that a horrendous breach of social media etiquette? I don't know if horrendous is a strong enough word. <laughs> it's disgusting. Hey, everyone watching the live stream, we're going to continue this coming up on ABC 6 News. Posted it right uh, now. That one, that one, we always get some good, good interaction. Yes. Dutch, I agree with you. Who? Dutch. What's Dutch doing? Dutch said you, 10 TV. You said what? Ew, 10 TV. Gross. Gross. All right, so uh, heat wave, heater, when, uh, next line of storms for Circleville. You're looking at about midnight for Circleville. Uh, do, 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 do. Pedro asking, what is the risk of a thunderstorm in Galloway, Ohio? There is a uh, there is a decent chance for some severe thunderstorms, mainly strong line winds. Uh, Michael said he'll be in here tomorrow shadowing. Michael will be here tomorrow shadowing. Michael J. German. German. Who's he shadowing? Hey, Johnny, can I go to the wall after this? Michael, who are you shadowing? Let us know. Yeah, you're, yeah. Thank you. Noah Kasser, or Kaser said, Yolanda, or can you tell Yolanda that she's pretty for me? Oh, yeah, I told you somebody thinks she's pretty. That's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Old lady likes to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ma'am, you're pretty. Bill Kelly just called me Storms will be in Cambridge probably about 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Which 
Come on, come on over, Bill. Yeah, I can do that. Anybody acts and tell you that I'm likely to be handsome, but gloriously witty, I don't mean to pass out. Oh. Assume you're all on camera. Oh. So, so once. Triple word score. We'll give the newscast an effort. I just assumed the last hour was a practice. Three, two. Felt like it to me. Hey, how you guys doing? Good evening to you. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, we're in, we're watching this storm system, and more importantly, you know, we're chatting with you via the different ways we have. We have our behind the scenes camera that we're shooting, and you just started a live chat on our ABC6 Facebook page. I did. We have a live Facebook chat on there, so if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, Ask those. I'm going to post the link to our live stream too, so you can watch behind the scenes of the newscast all night long. We'll have this going. And if you're using Twitter, use hashtag OhioWX, same name as our weather app, O H I O W X. Ask your questions and I'll respond to those. And Lynn, let us know what you're seeing out your window as well. In fact, this is what we're seeing on the radar. Go ahead and take this full. You'll see the map in motion. Everything moving from the southwest to the northeast. And we're getting a lot of rain around the area. We're getting a few lightning strikes, nothing major, but let's dissolve this on over to our live radar and show you where we're focusing in Plain City. This is pushing into Powell and Dublin. You're going to get a batch of some very heavy rain. No lightning with this right now, but our winds around the region, man, they are really kicking up. We have some very heavy rain from Newark right up to Mount Vernon, places like that. Utica over back toward the Shopkin, down south along Interstate 70 in the southern part of the county. And then in the Fairfield County, Lancaster had some very heavy rain as well. It is now starting to taper off a little bit, but you have a bit of a batch that's moving across the region. The area that we are focusing on for the strongest storms is back over here into Dayton, or at least it's just approaching Dayton right now, and it has some very, very bright colors in there. This is extremely heavy rainfall. Hamlet's not going to be a problem with this. It's just strong winds and some very heavy rain, two and a half inches per hour. That is how heavy that is raining. But the thing is, it's not going to be doing that for a very long time. In fact, when you look at this from west to east, the total amount of time that it's going to affect you is probably about 10 minutes or so. So as we're looking at this entire thing, and we push it all over into the Columbus area, in terms of the timing, here we're going to draw a line for you, draw it into Columbus. This is the main storm that we're watching. We're talking about an hour and a half from now, so it's probably around 12.30, so let's say between 12 and 1 o'clock, first from the west to the east. And along this, there have been some severe thunderstorm warnings. In fact, we've got one loan just got pulled down one lone tornado warning for a quick spin-up tornado here to the west of Dayton. We are not officially at this time in the Columbus area under a severe thunderstorm watch. We do expect this to weaken considerably by the time it gets here, but certainly severe weather is going to be possible as we travel into the nighttime hours. We're not going anywhere. We'll have to completely cover. We'll give you another look here coming up in just a few minutes, guys. All right, thank you, Bill. And as we get into severe weather season, you'll want to have the ABC6 weather app on your mobile device. Radar, future cast. Weather alerts right at your fingertips. Search for Ohio WX in your app store. You probably noticed that potholes are taking over, and as overnight rain is going to make things worse by morning. As ABC 6's Adam Slinger found out, the word pothole was actually trending on Twitter today. <laughs> Is that Jordan? <laughs> who tweeted or who voiced that? Tires, wheels, your suspension, 
thousands of dollars worth in some cases. Okay, Dr. You might not have much luck, though. We checked with the city, and out of 29 claims filed last year, the city only paid for one. Here at 11, the Athens County Sheriff says a major heroin dealer is locked up tonight. According to a release, a traffic stop led to the search warrants for a home in Chansey. The deputies say they found 24 grams of heroin, including 10 loaded syringes. The rest of Henry Riddle of Nelsonville said he was a major supplier of heroin. Here at 11th, the parents of Plum's first grader are furious after a mysterious phone call to their son's school today. Ben Garvey is live in North Columbus to explain why the school says it's apologizing. Ben. Michael German said he's shadowing 10. Veronica, a tornado can happen at any temperature. Normally, there are better chance to have to tornadoes when it's much warmer. Well, Michael, have fun. Probably won't be as much fun as here, though. Ten. Center Park Drive. 
fire chief says I pass it by and notice the smoke and flames. The fire destroyed the upper floor. No one was home at the time. I'm writing tonight the death toll soars during protests in Kiev. We've been hearing reports now about 400 people killed in the capital of Ukraine. Some children video showing protesters and police setting up their lines of defense after preparing the battle again. This is all because of Ukraine's leadership tightening ties with Russia and distancing itself from the EU. The Ohio bill could be a bargain for parents. Lawmakers are pushing for a sales tax holiday. The bill has a second hearing in the Senate this week. If it passes, school supplies under 20 bucks, clothes under 100, and some electronics under 750 dollars would be tax free. And that would last for three days in August. Absolutely awesome. I take my free jeans, If it passes, Ohio would be the 19th state to have such a sales tax holiday. Critics say that the state would lose about $78 million in tax revenue. Our tracking storm is heading straight for central Ohio. We're heading upon us now. And ABC6 crews are ready to respond and keep you updated on what happens. And good evening, everyone. Looking at this, to our most recent, uh, we have a tornado warning. This is not in our area. This is north of Dayton. It's in the Dayton market for Miami County. It's a spin-up tornado that's making its way from the southwest to the northeast. That one up until 11.30. We'll talk about our local forecast and what you can expect. We'll be expecting you this in our area. We'll have that more coming up in just a few minutes. Perfectly good buildings owned by the state of Ohio. City empty, along with state pays big bucks to rent office yeah, space. For a second. It's kind of cutting out on me a little bit from time to time. Is it yellow? No color. Let it sit there. Coming up at 11, ABC6 investigates empty and expensive. And a study on selfies, the base difference between men and women when it comes to taking pics of yourself. Sorry about that, guys. I just kept getting. I was like, I was like, uh, yeah, losing it. I know, and then I had a camera on me, and I was like, I can't hey, Blake, we do. Uh, oh my God. We do do shadows here for you internships. If you're in college, we'll do internship at the station. You can contact one of us meteorologists, and we can pass that along. Um, do do do. Hey, Dutch. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate. It. We love the love to hear that you guys love watching us. God's Drummer Boy Storms will be getting in Reynoldsburg tonight between about 11.30 and 11, I'm sorry, 11.30 and 12.30 tonight for you guys. Dutch, or I'm sorry, Bill, Dutch says hi. Pointing that way.
It was built with federal dollars in 1964, but since 2006, no state workers have been inside. Still, money is being spent to maintain that big empty building. It's the site and sound of growth. That part of the downtown is really taking off. See the new tornado warning? What? New tornado warning? They extended it farther into Miami County. Uh, the Dayton Evening EP said no damage reported with that storm at all yet. The Dayton Evening EP for the Sinclair Station said no damage yet. Yeah. Dispatch reported a possible touchdown along I-70. Bill, you're out this piece, ma'am. After your report God's drummer boy, yes. I won't give it away. He says, I won't sue you thunder right now, but yeah, the winter is still. Yeah. 
it is going to get real cold, yeah. In fact, let's just go right to the radar because we have spring-like thunderstorms without, like, a string of beautiful 60 days in these Right, yeah, we don't get the benefits from all of it. Thanks, Mother Nature. Yeah. We appreciate that. Thanks, <laughs> sir. You taunted her earlier. This is what we get. What I do, I, I you taunted Mother Nature. You taunted uh, her. Really? Is this all you got, Mother Nature? <laughs> <laughs> so here we go around our area. We do have some rain that's continuing. We have some heavier showers that are a little bit farther down to the south. Also, up to the north, we'll get to the watch the mornings out over here in just a second. Coshocton County getting quite a bit of the shower activity on Highway 36 there, some rain. We have some heavy rain in spots and even a few thunderstorms now along Highway 23 heading down through parts of Pickway County, the Ross, and Pike County, a thunderstorm reported down near Waverly. We're watching this though. Here's our main storm that we've been watching all night long. In this area that you see shaded in the red, this is actually that tornado warning that I was uh, telling you about earlier that's now been extended out of Miami County. So it's something we are, something we are certainly Keeping our eyes on, it is up now until 11.45 and heads over to Champaign County, so St. Paris, north of Urbana, that is the cone that we're watching. These are most likely, these real quick spin up tornadoes, uh, so if we get any of these, uh, you know, I want you to know certainly there's rotation if you get some in your area. This is not quite in our area yet, this is around the Dayton's area, but maybe some of you may be watching this thing from the Columbus Broadcast. And just know that this is where this is. That's that tornado warning that is in effect. Otherwise, there's a severe thunderstorm warning that is in effect for all the other shades that you see here in the frown. Let me just show you the watches and warnings currently. They have not extended the severe thunderstorm watch out yet. That's what the pink is. So it is not in the Columbus area or any spot, any of the counties that you see off to the east yet. I do expect them to increase. If they don't increase the watch, they'll, they'll issue the warnings as need be. Our biggest threat still is going to be just very strong winds that kick up, and it's only going to be about a five or ten minute window where, yes, we could possibly see some quick spin ups there. But I'm, I'm more concerned with the possibility of very strong winds kicking up, and even then, I'm not all that concerned. I'm, I'm, I'm not crazy concerned with this one, uh, but it's definitely enough that we're going to be here. So here the morning pops on the air, we're going to let you know about that for sure, even beyond this one. Right. So you go ahead and watch the video, and we'll need to break in. But that's what we're looking at here right now is rain around the region. I have our live camera up. We're Thank watching you. it rain right earlier. You see all the wet roads. It's 60 degrees still outside here at the 11 o'clock hour. So it is a very warm night, relatively speaking. And those winds will continue to work up from the south. So we have 50s and low 60s all across the area with wind gusts to 25, 35 miles per hour. Those will increase real quickly as that storm rolls through. It will roll through the Columbus area probably between about midnight and 12.30, somewhere in there. And then it will continue to move its way off to the east. And you see that on this map. I'll pause this here at midnight. We have some showers. We're going to be going a little more active than this map shows right now. But once, we, once the severe weather threat passes you, that's it. You're done. We'll have lingering showers that will last in the early morning hours, start to taper off a few clouds for the first part of the day. They clear on out of here. Our biggest threat tomorrow is going to be some strong, sustained winds throughout the day. Those winds could gust to 40 miles per hour, so there is a wind advisory that is in effect now and it stays into effect all the way until 6 o'clock tomorrow night. And in addition, we have a flood watch that's in effect because the rain is going to be heading half an inch to an inch of rain as this crosses. So 37 tonight, go to about 45 tomorrow. Tomorrow, you take the wind aside, it's looking pretty good. We'll see some sunshine in the afternoon. Have your glasses with your sunshine here or shades. Uh, and then on Saturday, we have 50 degrees. We'll watch that and chance for some rain, snow mix, and there's that cold air we're talking Ooh. about next week back into the 20s. We'll be right back. We have more weather coming. Tornado warning was just canceled. Oh, they did? That's a problem. They just canceled the tornado
We're streaming. We're streaming as a reminder. PSA reminder. Just just in case. Yes. In case there was some heat heat coming. Cancels it. What does it say? After they cancel it. Yeah. Did you raise that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't. We're streaming. I know. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, basically. I'm going to tune in now. That's awesome. Pure yeah. entertainment. Can you mute it? All right, volume's back up. Oh, so I was out my life. Like when someone cries whale or something? Batman, can you win it? 
Okay. for some severe storms. In fact, we have the radar on right now. Let me focus it up here around Franklin County and show you what we're watching here and, and, and over the next hour or so, uh, what we're going to see. And we're watching this particular line right here that's going to slide its way across. It's breaking up a little bit. But there are a couple of severe weather warnings. These are these that you see right here in the orange shade. This is for Logan County, uh, Clark Check County, and uh, Champaign County as well. Probably about 12.30 or something. Midnight and 1 o'clock is when that should cross. If there's any severe weather warnings, we'll tell you more. We'll be here today. Okay, then. Let's see. All right. Uh. All right, so we should probably do who's staying? Which, which one of y'all staying? Here's very good. Joseph. Why don't we plan on doing the first cut in regardless at eleven fifty or whatever time that typically will air? You should have seen me go hand plant. I was up there, I just dropped in. Oh, oh come on, Bill. Oh, Bill. Let's do it. Let's do a wall ride. Do it. Oh, yeah, the webcam is still up. Tear that shit up. Hey, we're, we're streaming. We're streaming live. No, they don't. But. So let's do this. The first break. Yeah, I know. It's like 11 ish. But if you want to tell her, we'll just start the first break. Let's just plan a cover in the first break. I'll keep my ears on. Um, do you want to do those first ones? They're like, what, three minutes? I want that two minutes. You'll be able to tell you at least a little bit more, right? Um, why don't we start with the two shot? So I can. That no, it's yeah. staying all night long. So we can go through You're just staying here all night long. And, uh, oh, this? Uh, yeah, that's going to stay. No, I mean, you're a little oh, storm. Oh, uh, it's weakening some. Cool. That'll work. How come they didn't even Guys, give us a watch? Guys, one of the problems with your severe weather covers, you not quite sure it's going to go. Damn it. Oh, absolutely. Are you taking a backpack home with you? I'm ready. I'll come here for this app tonight. Yes. <laughs> Okay, you got, what was that? What'd they do? What's this program? What'd they do? Oh, shoot. What, that? Yeah, what that's you, Stream. Okay, what's so, back on your Facebook site, what, what was that over on the right? Why is it black? Let's go ahead what? And make sure that. This? Yeah. Because I shut it off. I shut off the chat. Because I had all my friends messaging me stuff, so if I went to it, it would be like, did you guys see that Magnum swing arm that went for sale on eBay? And I'm like, all right, I need to shut all this off so that way... Oh, I'm sorry. Hook Magnum. I will be broadcasting this all night long. Oh, my God. Um, sure, that'd be good. Thank you. 
Hey folks, so Andrew Michael here. I'm going to set this up real quick. Uh, so I'm going to keep the, uh, the Ustream up and going. If you guys have any questions, man, I look nuclear. If you guys have any questions, you guys can just post those here and I can answer those for you as we go through the, uh, the evening tonight. So I will be here uh, the entire night or till these storms pass through in the, uh, the newsroom or the uh, studio. So you guys can just type in your questions there in the chat and I will answer those for you guys. If you guys want to... Uh, Share the links to this to some of your friends. That way they can jump in as well. Uh, I'd love to hear that. Thanks for uh, God's Drummer Boy saying lots of rain and black lick. Hmm? <sighs> All right, I'm going to go get some water real quick. Folks, Andrew Michael back here. Bill Kelly's in the Weather Center. See if there's any other questions that have been posted on here. Uh, Blake's saying starting to hear thunder in Cambridge. That's just the first line there, Blake. So you're going to be seeing a lot more. Yeah, let's see. I'll see if there's anything in Cambridge that's plowed ground. Bill Kelly's checking it out now. I will switch this over so you guys can one, see. Uh, I only see one north of Cambridge, pretty far north of Cambridge. At least cloud the ground. Not that there couldn't be cloud that cloud the strikes. Posted something I didn't mean to. Hmm. 
Michael Grumke. When was this recorded? You just sent it to me. It's just right in my game. I'll set you guys up right there. Hey, Dutch, um, Dutch saying Bill needs to do streams as well. Bill does do streams. Not as often as you, but I do do streams. How many people are we streaming right now? Uh, we have 20 people in here. Hey, all right. All right. 20 people. We're still keeping an eye on those storms right now. They're uh, currently moving through uh, Hardin County. If you live in Union County, it's going to be moving through uh, your neck of the woods very soon. Uh, same for still, uh, the still north. looking at probably another... 50 an hour for Columbus, so maybe 12.30 still, roughly, maybe Slow, a little longer. Slowing down a little bit. Yeah, uh, Trisha, yeah, the next round up for you guys down there in Washington Court. That's going to be uh, pretty strong there. So it's, it's a little stronger down there, and, and she's probably looking at about 35 or 40 minutes from now in Washington Court. Uh, Blake asking, do you prefer a major thunderstorm or a blizzard? Bill Kelly said blizzard to work through. It was nice hearing thunder this morning, though. If when, I'm out chasing, thunderstorms. If he's out chasing, he said thunderstorms. Yeah. If I'm stuck here in a building, I'll take blizzard. Yeah. <clears throat> Great question, though. Um, why isn't the weather dropping? Just seems weird that we have 60 degree weather, but we are getting storms like crazy. Why isn't the weather dropping? Hey, God's drummer boy, if you want to type that question again, I don't understand. What do you mean by why isn't the weather dropping? Why aren't the temps dropping? Temps will fall by tomorrow. It'll be a little cooler tomorrow. Only highs in the mid uh, mid 40s. Thanks, Mitch. Right, Austin right. Brandon be, hey, Brandon, are you in there? Can, can you hear me? Can Brandon hear me? Heather? Can you guys hear Brandon at all? Can you guys hear Brandon? I cannot right now. Okay, he said that we're getting close. I was, that's what I was just going to ask him.
Where's my remote? There it is. I am always here. I mean, how Let's does the tent chatting. have to Hello. be a tornado not to form? How what? How cold does it have to be for a tornado not to form? I don't think there's a quantifiable number for that. Here we go. Hey there, everyone. I'm meteorologist Bill Kelly alongside Andrew Buck Michael, and uh, we're here just to kind of get you through. There are no severe thunderstorm warnings right now in our area, but we're monitoring it. I'm expecting it probably around 12:30. We're just looking at that timing. Yeah, 12:30 for the metro area. For the metro area, yeah, a little bit sooner down to the south, like Washington Courthouse, probably 35 minutes. Uh, but we're also chatting with you via social media. We're doing a behind the streams, uh, behind the scenes stream right now as well. What kind of questions are you getting from people? Uh, a lot of questions that we're getting. One just come in. Does uh, Morrow County have any watches or warnings? Mornings. Right now, they have. I know they have the flood watch. Right, the flood watch, the wind advisory. Just had a severe thunderstorm warning issued about five minutes ago for Marion County, which we posted. That's up okay. until twelve fifteen. Not Morrow County, uh, as far as we know. But hop on our. Where, which venue are you on? You got ABC. Uh, Twitter is probably the easiest right now. Yeah. Where uh, if you have any questions, again, my page, Andrew Michael, Bill Kelly. Find us on Facebook. Ask your questions there. But if you're using Twitter, if you use the hashtag Ohio W X O H I O W X. Uh, I'm responding to all of your questions if you use that hashtag. And by the way, I will say, you folks watching right now, you're not going to miss any of Kimmel. We're covering the national commercials here to be able to do this for you, and then we'll get you back to Kimmel as soon as he comes back on. All right, so let's talk about the weather and show you what is going on out there. You see our radar. I have it focused here around the Columbus area where we're getting a little bit of a lull. We had some heavier showers a bit earlier. They have moved off to the east, but where I want to focus on and where the potential for our storms are is off to the west. Right now here, man, you see this dark This zone right here where we have our best chance of seeing some of these severe storms. Up to the north, as I mentioned, into uh, parts of Marion County, there was one issue because of wind gusts to about 70 miles per hour outflow from the storm, and this is the northern end of this. And I will also say, as this crosses, there's going to be about a five minute window. That's it, where the winds will kick up, even if you don't have severe level winds. They're going to kick up 40, 50 miles per hour most likely. And some of them may nudge up to the upper 50s to about 60 or so. Either way, it's going to last about five minutes, and then as it passes, that's it, then it's done. And in fact, if we look at this, and I just kind of take a little cross section to show you, it's only about a 10 or 15 minute window in terms of it uh, being wide. So let me widen this out one more time, show you our timing as we look across here, put Columbus in the frame, we can use our distance tool and show you that here it is, Columbus, we're going to draw out the leading edge and push it in here. It's about another 50 minutes. So as I mentioned, about 12.30, maybe slightly earlier than that, but as we widen it out one more time and show you, uh, there's not a ton going on right now in terms of severe weather warnings or a few that are posted off to our west. We have one up in the Marion County that we are keeping our eyes on. If any severe weather warning is issued, of course, we're going to post it on Facebook, Twitter. If it is a severe enough, we'll of course, break in, but we will have another update for you coming up here uh, in just a few minutes covering the most severe enough that we're going to do. So we'll pour you some of that. Alright, so when do you think our next one might be? I mean, I'll take the overtime. I mean, what is that? I have no idea what that is. Yeah. Aaron Rigsby. Where? Well, uh, what would you like to go next? What's our options? What's on the menu? We have the 55 one that's minute 20. Let's hold off on that one if it's only a buck 20, unless there's something issue. We'll stay standby. What's the next one after that? The next, it, unless we have a warning we need to talk about, let's do that one. And, and I'm sorry, unless we have a warning, we will not do that one. If something pops between now and then, we will take advantage of that time. Um, but if we have another one, like maybe 10 after or something like that. Yeah, no, know after this, we get into night life, and that's live as well. Okay, and that's at 1230? Yeah, 1235. 1235, okay. 
for uh, whoa, it's Meg. Uh, One more time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. For uh, whoa, it's Meg. Uh, yeah, Crawford County is about ready to get hit with that line of storms. Mm -hmm. Are you are you talking to somebody on the line chat? God's uh, drummer boy. God's drummer boy. What is your name? So that way I can actually use your name on there. Um, yeah, I enjoy doing these. We can interact with you guys, answer your guys' questions. It's showing up, but it's pretty quiet. You're fine. Have you seen any of um, Fallon's show at all? I have not. He does a great job, man. Does he? Yeah. I, mean, I, he's, I, he I want to see Seth's show. I'm posting the link again on my Facebook page just because. Yeah, you want me to post it as well? Sure. Just be like, up late, have a question. Perfect. As soon as you post it, I'll go back over your page. Okay. This, uh... I think NWS has done a good job on this storm, don't you? Yeah. This Jimmy, how does he spell Jimmy? Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post those. We will be answering some of those. We are cutting on, uh, cutting on to, into the commercial break of Jimmy Kimmel coming up here in about 10 minutes or so, and we will be um, answering you guys' weather questions.
that much. Tweet, uh, what does Franklin County look like?